Hi everybody doing welcome back to the channel this is a quick tutorial on how to render with an alpha and I'm making these tutorials not just for you but it's for me too because you know what I mean you're gonna be forgetting a lot of this stuff in Unreal Engine because it's so many things so let's get right to it um, we got our, our scene right here right so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our edit we're gonna go to our project settings we're gonna type in alpha All right, so in under post processing, we want to make sure linear color space only is on. So we got that done. We can get up out of here. We can close this up. Let's go back to our main. Now we're going to be doing this in our sequencer. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to let's say we want just to have Spider-Man here in the alpha channel that we export out because we want to do something with him later on. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to click on everything in the background. So let's say we we'll click on this ground right here or the floor. We're going to hold shift. I'm going to click on this log. I'm going to click on this rock right here. I'm going to click on this over here. We're going to click on that. So now we got everything highlighted over here. We're going to click and drag these into our on um, our timeline and our sequencer. So now that I have those in here on any one, we're going to go through since they're all highlighted, it's going to do them all. We're going to Go to track. We're going to actor hidden in game. We're going to press on that. Now we're going to get these visibilities underneath. We're going to click those. And that's, as you see, is basically closing things down that we have. We got our floor right here. We're going to close that as well. Now we're going to click on there. We still got a floor. I don't know what's happening with the Spider Man, but let's click that right there. That's some more floor. We're going to drag that one as well into here. Same thing track actor hidden in game uncheck visibility we still got a couple more rocks and we got some atmosphere we got the skylight or sky sphere so we're going to click those shift click that atmosphere click those rocks we're going to do the same thing drag those in here you can do that to whatever you need in your scene then we're going to right click on track actor hidden in game we're going to uncheck those this should get us what we need now we got this. This is all nothing, and we got our Spider-Man still in here. Then from there, we're going to go down here to our render movie queue. If you don't already have that up there, you can be able to go through and add that in. But we're going to have this into our sequencer. We're going to add that in. We're going to go to our unsaved config. In here, we have our exports, right? We're going to get rid of the JPEG because we can't get an alpha channel all with that. So we're going to go down to our PNG sequence. We have a PNG sequence. Now in the rendering, deferred render, we're going to click on that. Accumulator includes alpha. We're going to check that. You output this to wherever you want that to go. Let's do the test. We're going to output it there. We make sure all of our settings are correct. We accept. And then we're going to render out. Hopefully that helps you to get your alpha channel out there. Keep creating, and I'll talk to you later.